time, everybody clap your hands. You got such a good attitude this morning. You want to say good morning vlog? Good morning, everyone. <laughs> Hi guys, welcome to today's vlog. Today is Sunday. We've got all three of the boys. I thought you were going to say Saturday. I know. Remember when I said that on Thanksgiving? <laughs> I was Thursday. I was like, today's Saturday. And Silas is like, no it's not. You remember that, Bubby? Mm -hmm. Yeah, Bubby remembers that. I know. Thanksgiving's always on a Thursday. What was mommy thinking? Mm -hmm. I know, I know. Silly mommy. Just goes to show adults make mistakes too, huh? <laughs> So all three of the boys are going to be matching today's Sunday. Let's show you guys Silas's outfit. Let me see. Scoot over a little. Looky how cute. And then his little shoes. What's that? What are you doing? Oh. <laughs> all right, guys. Come on. We're going to be late. So yesterday we, the twins wore this yesterday. Oh, you actually are not dressed well because your pants I have them wearing thermos. Come closer. Come this way. So they are wearing thermos underneath. Let me show you guys. Here we go. And then I have them wear regular pants because what I've noticed is these kids take off their sweaters all the time. Stand up straight, son. They take off their sweaters all the time and they run around at church without it on. So I'm like, you know what? You can take off your sweaters if you want to, but you still have this like really nice thermo shirt on underneath. So that's gonna work. You're set to go. All right. Good luck when you gotta go potty, bro. <laughs> but we are headed out the door. Brian's already off to church. I just have to put on some socks and shoes. The twins are doing their hair. They're gonna put on their shoes also. Silas actually is like, he woke up. Okay. Mm I've actually already done my hair, okay? So we're just gonna leave it alone. We're gonna get ready to leave in a little bit. We're gonna head out the door in a little bit. The last vlog I did, I think, was me telling you guys there's something wrong with me and that has actually continued on and i don't know what to think of it and i don't know what to make of it so i can i start off with like just being itchy i'm actually not as bad right now as i was like the day that i was vlogging it let me just double check oftentimes my hives will start off like right here and that actually does not, and that is not the case today. So it's a little bit different today. The thing that's different about today is that my hives are on my legs. So they're on my thighs right here. And then they're on like the inside of my thigh. And then all of like right here. And then I also have, not today actually. I had some like on the top part of my feet also. So that's how it starts, and then before I know it, it actually spreads throughout my whole body. The other day, I had some on my belly, which... It doesn't look like I have any on my belly right now. So each day, it comes whenever it wants. I thought it used to come in the evenings, but today's the morning, and it's kind of already arriving today, so wish me luck. <laughs> today's not even started. It's 9.17 in the morning, and it's already here. So welcome, yay me. We're gonna see how this goes. I'm not excited about it whatsoever, but I did wanna update you guys on that and just let you know how things are going. On a different note, we threw a bomb Christmas party. We had great time with a couple of friends that came over, actually several friends that came over. I do this every year and I feel like this year was the best one because, I don't know, it's just like, you know, each time you do something, I feel like you just perfect it and perfect it and perfect it and then it just ends up being really fun. My Mr. Silas is already dressed. His PJs are here because, is that what you're gonna wear tonight? Mm -hmm. Yeah, he's just hanging out, playing with his toys. As soon as Papa gets here, we're gonna get ready to take off in a little bit, but Silas is such like, he's such a boy, huh, Bubby? He's always playing with like big trucks and stuff. And then we got Mr. Are you gonna sit there and do your shoes or your socks? Yeah, so we have a pile of socks there. A lot of them don't have matches, but, they match, yeah. They have to hunt through them and find matches. And this is where we sit and put on socks, apparently. Look how crazy the outside looks. I know the poor school looks so sad without any kids there. Oh my gosh, mm -hmm. there was a cat right there and it just scared the walk of birds away. Oh really? I just saw it run up and then it all ran. 
<laughs> it's crazy. I don't know if you guys know this or not, but on Sundays, Ryan goes to church early in the morning and then he comes back and then he gets us and then we all go together because when he's at church, he starts up the computers and stuff and they have rehearsal for music and different things like that. When he's at the church, we don't necessarily have to be there. So I wake up a little bit later with the kids and I get there. By the time he gets home, we're completely dressed. Sometimes Ryan will help with the kids a little bit here and there, like if I'm running a little bit late, but you guys know me. I don't often run late, but if I do run late, I run completely, like I will run completely late. There's no in the middle with me. Let me see. Oh my gosh, oh my God, that bathroom floor is so dirty. Anyway, Silas doesn't have to reach anymore, or he can reach now. We actually have a stool over there which is occupied by a Christmas tree. But good job, Bobby! Yeah, it could be the shoes, but oh my gosh, good job! And we're home from church. The kids kind of are going to have free time. Are you gonna wear that tonight? Jonah, you're gonna wear that tonight? Silas, are you wearing that tonight? And are you changing? So Malachi is actually uncomfortable with what he's wearing, and all three of them are wearing the same thing. But they're hanging out. All three of them asked for iPad time. And I said, if you guys clean up, you can have iPad time. But they're actually having fun. So I'm going to go upstairs and do a few things. You guys have fun. We are home from church. I actually want to put my hair up. I don't have that many hives at the moment. I want to really quickly double check. No. I do have some on my thighs still like on this part like on the inside part of it but other than that i don't have any so i'm like sitting here just waiting for my hives to arrive that's all <laughs> hopefully they don't but it's just like a weird feeling when i don't have them i have this like almost like a burning 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 feeling throughout my whole body wherever i had hives last so it's almost like you know how when you get when you get burnt from like a flame like cooking or something like that and then it's not turned into a blister but you can just like feel the heat on it on your skin well that's what it feels like all over my body and then the places that i do have the hives i just want to sit here and scratch and scratch and scratch but i do have some anti-itch cream that i put on and that really helps me and that's how it begins like on like visible spots like this and it just continues to get worse. I'm just patiently sitting here waiting for the hives to arrive because I just know they're gonna come. I just know they're gonna come. But for right now, the kids are gonna hang out. Ryan is upstairs. Just, I don't even know what Ryan's doing. He's upstairs in the office. He might be doing something for the ministry that we oversee because we're gonna be headed over there about three o'clock today. That's why I was asking the boys if they were gonna be wearing their outfits. We are going to be decorating cookies for the ministry that we oversee today. I actually bought some super, super, super cute cookies that are ready to be decorated. We're just kind of lounging around the house. Oh, I put my hair up, that's why I came and sat down here. Um, we're gonna lounge around the house and just kind of be bums. It is super cold outside, so we are not gonna be going outside. Asylis, what you got? Can I please have some iPad time? Oh yeah, I already told you guys could, but you needed to do something. Um, I cleaned up. You I what? I cleaned up a little mm -hmm. so the boys could have a little more. Oh, so they can clean up too? So you didn't clean up everything because you left some for them? Mm-hmm. Yeah. You're serious, huh? Okay. So I have three toys that's nice. Okay, but you're going to be sick, so you need to clean up six toys. Six more toys? Wow. Yeah, you get to. Thanks, dude. These are sunflower seeds on my computer desk, son. All right, guys, I want to go get some work done. So most likely, oh, I have to write out Christmas cards that we need for today, too. So um, I think I'm going to see what content I have as far as editing videos and stuff goes. And then I got to write out Christmas cards for the volunteers that we One, oversee. Two. No, 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 no. I want it up there. <laughs> I just wanted to make sure I had some sunflower seeds up there because I need to entertain my mouth while I'm working. <laughs> it's right there. It's on my dresser. It is? Or not dresser. It's by my bed because I use it at night too. Good 
official day to you guys. It is definitely the next day. The twins and Silas, I guess all three boys, that would be the best way to say it, are home from school. Today is their first day of their three week winter break and they're just kind of bouncing around the house with no rhyme, no rhythm, and no agenda whatsoever, which works just fine for me. I just remember being a kid and not having school and literally just staying in PJs and that's actually what they were doing until right now. My mom called and she's actually doing a lot, lot, lot better. As far as her health and everything goes, we still don't leave her by herself. The twins are 10 and then I have a 10 year old nephew. Then I have a 16, 17 year old nephew. Oh my gosh, he's getting so much older. Every time I blink, these kids get older. Anyway, long story short, my mom called and said that because my 10 year old nephew is at my mom's house, she was wondering if I can drop off these three boys also so that way she can just spend time with her grandbabies. So I was like, that actually doesn't sound like a bad idea. Not that I need them to be babysat or watched, but I have a few things that I wanted to run around town and do, so I'm going to do that. I need to go buy Christmas cards for just a few people that I wanna hand out to when I am at church on Christmas Eve, so I wanna get that done. And then there's a few things that I need to wrap around here, and I can get that wrapping done when my little human, Silas is getting changed in front of him. He actually lotioned himself up right now, so that's what I'm staring at. But when my little humans are gone, I can wrap and don't have to lock myself in the room. Huh, buddy? I'm going bye-bye. You're going bye-bye. Okay. So I really quickly changed into just a white sweater and a beanie because I'm always cold. And then, of course, this jacket, some jeans with some 32 below um, leggings and then my jeans on top of it because I can't do this cold stuff at all. I started the car and I asked the boys, I go, is the living room cleaned up? Because they were playing downstairs and I was actually working from my little office area on the top of the stairs and they go, actually Malachi goes, not really, I think we need to clean up a little bit better. So they started doing that. Oh my gosh, look at how cute they look. They're ready to go. All right, go ahead, the car is open. The socks were in there too. I think she's mom was in it. Um, actually, I decided no because she's not here yet. So go ahead and get in the car, I'll take you guys. Look at my mom's beautiful, beautiful greeneries here. These boys love coming in here and they're already inside. Whoa, I think I see presents that are not wrapped yet. Let's see. Hello. Hi, mom. You guys, ever since, that one time I went to San Francisco and lost the opportunity to spend time with my parents. And then like that next Sunday, my dad went to the emergency room and then that following Thursday we lost him every time I come here. Granted I didn't have a relationship with him, but every time I come here, I just, I never rush out the door. I never just drop off the kids and leave. I did before because I wasn't given, you know, the option of coming in, but I never just storm out the door. I just sit down and I talk to her for a good 15, 20 minutes and then I'll take off just because, whoo, can't take any single moment for granted, you guys. You really just cannot. And that's just not coming from the fact that it's just around the corner from the holidays or anything like that. It's coming from a place, from a person that has never, ever, ever experienced losing a loved one. And I don't know, I really don't know, but I just wanted to share that much with you guys. I've got my three favorite humans back. One, two, three. Merry Christmas, Silas. He has his Santa PJs on. They were inside at my mom's house, so I felt like they didn't need to change, so I didn't have him change. Actually, the twins changed, but I had Silas stay in his PJs. Do you have shoes on, Silas? Yep. You have shoes on? Yeah, he's he does. Sleeping. Oh, he's sleeping. Silas loves to fake sleep. That's his favorite thing to do. <laughs> anyway, um, yesterday when we were arriving home, my good old tire pressure came on. So it is saying that one is at 185, two are at 195, and one is at 190. I'm not worried about it, but I am, but I'm not. 
You know what I mean? You probably don't because that made no sense. Um, <laughs> it's cold here in California, like California people cold, you know, like 47 degrees, so we're saying it's cold. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna drive over to America's Tire and I'm going to get all of it figured out. Please don't tell me I have to go outside. So that way we can all remain safe. Okay, so a very long wait later, we are at 2.40 for three of them and 2.45 for one of them and it's at KPA, not PSI, so don't come for me, okay guys? It's supposed to be this high apparently if it's on KPA, so. All right, now I feel a little bit safer. Oh, great, now I need gas. Just never ends around here. So I told the guy that one was at 245, he's kind of walking around fixing it for me because uh, that one, the back one went to 245 now. The back one's at 245? Yeah. No, so I know what happened. So for some reason at 35 pounds it's been underinflating. So I'm going to set it to 36, get them all to 36, and then you'll be good Yeah, because of the cold, huh? Okay. He's going to fix it. And I'm gonna feel comfortable knowing that a professional checked my tires. <laughs> so he's gonna put all of them to 36 psi. What he's suggesting because of the cold, so that way I don't have to come right back again. So. I feel like they just sound like heart monitors or something. I'm just too paranoid because I don't know why I'm associating that with that. I think you just have a lot on my mind today. Yesterday was one year since my dad passed away and I didn't sleep well last night. Not one. What did I even say? Two months since my dad passed away and I think that's on my mind. I didn't sleep well last night and then that's been on my mind all day today too. Now the tire pressure, not tire pressure, but the machine for the tire, the air. Good to go. Thank you so much. I appreciate it. It sounds like a heart machine to me. He's using, oh, that's okay. You guys don't need the iPads right now. It's okay. Oh, you didn't take yours? Okay, he'll help you. Don't worry. Thank you for putting your shoes where they go. Mommy. Yeah. Where are piano bags? Where are your piano bags? Right underneath in there. It's nice and tucked. You can grab it. Oh, wait. No, your piano things are right there. Yep. Oh, you're going to do it. You're going to practice a different one? Okay. It's in there. Your piano bags are in there. They've always been in there. But there hasn't been pine cone things on top of it. Yeah, just put it off to the side. All right, so Jonah's going to do his piano lesson. And Silas over here is going to charge his iPad. And then Mr. Malachi is going to read to his brother. You can take off your shoes. We're going to be here for a while, buddy. Anyway guys, I'm going to end this here because today's vlog is a combination of today and yesterday. So, I want to say thank you for watching. Don't I forget. I can do magic. Hope you guys follow us on Instagram. Thank you again for watching and we'll see you guys next time. Bye bye. See the magic. Of course I do, but can you say bye? Bye. Hey everybody. Everybody. Thanks for watching. Thanks for watching. Thanks for watching. Until next time. We'll see you next time. Come on, time. let's go. Let's go.